Okay, this is going to be Pokemon Emerald Hiker Percent. Uh, speed run to see the hiker as you're going up the cable car on Mount Chimney. Really funny, honestly. I think it's kind of absurd, but um, it'll basically be an any percent speed run until we uh, get to that point, and then we'll be going up and down the cable car until we see the hiker. Um, yeah, should be a bit of fun. I've never run uh, Pokemon Emerald before, but... Uh, looking forward to it gonna be probably pretty bad at it to start with because emeralds are pretty are pretty technical speed runners as far as i understand it um, i'm not gonna be doing manips or anything like that it's basically just gonna be any percent minute bliss um with a view of just getting to the hiker as soon as possible all right let's get going Yeah, so like I said, I've not run Pokemon Emerald before. I don't really know, like, a lot of the speed run tech or anything like that. I've seen runs of it. I know the basic contours of the run and that sort of thing, but, like, I don't have any actual real practice of, of speed running Pokemon Emerald. Especially not vanilla. Um, so, you know, I'm sure that'll lead to some mistakes and some errors here and there as I go, but, um... It should be good fun. Uh, I'm going to pick Combuskin because I'm mindful that I want an uh, an easier Rival 2. Rival 2 is a nightmare. Uh, I don't want to deal with Rival 2 with the Grovile. In my view, doing it with Combuskin versus the Marsh Tomp is actually a lot better. Because uh, you don't have that four times weakness to um, Leaf Blade. It's a, it's, a, it's a nightmare that it has Leaf Blade. So um, I'm just going to you know sit there with my nice little X attacks and, and double kick my way through if I can. You know, get a few healing items here and there, but um, hopefully it won't be too bad. Go upstairs, set a clock. Sure. And burst in the door. Yep, my room's great. I think I will grab the potion from the PC just real quick. Doesn't take much time, but it's definitely going to be necessary for the, the safety strats of this run. Hopefully we get a good uh, Torchic to start with. Um, I don't know what a good Torchic looks like, but you know, I'm sure that'll make the run an easier time. Um, I'm not going to fight Brawly, FYI. You can skip him and I, I fully intend to. Um, it's really, really not that... It's In fact, it's really easy to go through the cave without uh, getting uh, Flash. Um, you basically just run through it and, and can follow the walls of the cave until you get to where you need to go. Um, so it's, it's pretty easy. Just going to make sure I buy repels before I go. I'll probably end up fighting quite a few optional trainers, both intentionally and unintentionally, as I go through. Um, there's definitely some that you would want to fight, the, the rich kids, because they give you lots of money. Um, they're always a good idea to fight if you're trying to do like a safety speed run, as I am. Uh, we want our talk check. Crit would have been nice there. Alrighty. Very nice. We are on our way. Should probably actually make sure I'm tabbed in. Give our tor give our tor trick the standard, you know, one character nickname. Just to help with speeding up and printing text. Yeah, it's a great idea, Professor Birch. We'll head on out, right on out there. It's really painful that they don't give you the running shoes until you get all the way back, because, you know, that would be nice. I should also say, uh, I speed run with an Xbox 360 game controller, uh, so my mark bike movement is going to be horrible. I have not practiced this game. I'm going to talk to this guy. Uh, I have not practiced the movement at all for this game. It's just going to be bad. Um, so, you know, Bonk City coming up. 
Bonk, 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 bonk. Um, yeah. Should be, should be good fun. I think the mark bike movement is really, wow, what is this luck of encounters? Surely one here. That's insane. All right, I'm gonna save real quick. Um, yeah, nuts that I, I got zero encounters on the way here. That's really fast. Battle time. Mesh, 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 mesh. Ooh, nice crit. Very good. We're off. I need to... I'm going to try and get an encounter here. Nope, okay. Um, I'm going to catch a Zigzagoon before we get out of this area, just so I have something for Cut and Rock Smash. Well, you super need Cut, but... Actually, do you need Cut at all? I don't think you do. At least not for where I'm going. I still need something for Rock Smash, sure, but... Pochina can load rock, rock Smash, so that's fine. I should say, one thing with the Torchic route is that you do need to level up all the way to Combuscan uh, in order to beat uh, Roxanne, because otherwise you just have no hope without uh, beating Roxanne without double kick. So we'll be doing that, even though it is a bit slower. Maybe if this turns out to be really fun, I'll, I'll get better at doing... Um, I'll get better at the, the any percent uh, category generally. And I can um, start using the mud kit or something like that. But finally, we have running shoes. All right, we're out of here. There we go. Oh, zigs again. Perfect. Interesting that you don't get a heal from uh Alright, well I'll die to a crit, so <laughs> hopefully that doesn't happen. No, that's not what I want. Should get in pretty easily. Here with a potion. There we go. For those of you not aware, it's always faster not to, to interact with the trainer if you have to fight them, just so you don't have them walk over to you and also get the uh, exclamation point pop up, because that's pretty slow. Doesn't save a massive amount of time, but it does save some time. Catch there. Ah. 
I actually have no real estimate of how long this run's going to take. I know that the actual speed run is about two and a half hours. Um, but I don't know how long it takes to actually get to the cable car in that speed run. And then how long, <laughs> how long I have to spend uh, going for the hiker, which is just pure RNG. All right, here's hoping for a uh, knockout from from while he's zigzagging here. You know the old double crit special. Damn, no crits. All right. I don't know if you have to mash this, if it's if it's faster if you mash uh, through this cutscene, but hopefully not, because I don't really want to mash for Wally. Not wasting my time on mashing for Wally. Dad's going to be like, hey man, we'll battle someday too. And I'm like, mm, not likely. I'm going to go find a hiker and then stop playing. Scott's going to bother us for a second. I uh, probably should have picked up propels on the way here, but uh, that boat has sailed. We'll never end up getting surf, so we don't need to catch a Meryl. Damn it. We are going to fight this person because they're rich and they give us lots of money. They also use full restores on their level 7 Zigzagoon, which is kind of insane. Like, what a flex, but uh, that's neither here nor there. Not ideal. Also not ideal. Kind of thought they'd restore there, to be honest, but... Yeah, I'm gonna heal now. Damn it. Forgot my cursor was there. Surely a crit since I used focus energy. Hey, thank you. Yeah, fourteen hundred dollars. Nice and rich. All right, can we please dodge the spinners in here? There they are. Nice dodge. Pick up the item over here. I forget what it is, but I remember it being somewhat useful. Yeah, Paralyze Heal. That is useful. Right, we're going this way. I'm going to save before this fight. Because uh, it can go badly. And saving is always faster than getting sent back to a Pokemon Center. Team Aqua shows up and, and does their does their thing. Does their thing. Getting speed run brain already. <laughs> I 
I think the thing you need to avoid for this fight is uh, just excessive sand attacks because that makes it basically impossible to win. Well, it can make it very, very difficult to win, not impossible. Okay, how much does this do? Eight. Alright, well, I'm dead to crit, so. I'm dead to crit and I don't have a healing item. Alright, we're through. That's good. But that was very tight. <laughs> means I really need to dodge the uh, the other trainer in the forest here, because I have no healing items. I should have shopped. Great ball, not much help to me, brother, but, you know. That's fine. Counter. I'm going to save before I pass this guy because I cannot fight him. He will kill me. Sorry about the red bar noise. Alrighty, we're through. Probably seems a bit dramatic saving for that, but I, I cannot stress that, yeah, he would kill me. I do not have Ember to take out his Nincardas. Wasn't worth the time. Should have just left. Definitely wasn't worth the extra encounter. I'm going to need to go pick up the healing items that are just north of here. Before I can fight the other trainers. Starting with these Oran Berries. Probably end up equipping one of those, actually. And then there's some items up here. Not useful. Useful. And I think there's one other up in the corner here. This one? Yeah. Super potion. Very nice. Alright, onwards. Surprised I got out with any extra encounters. We are going to fight this guy because I think this is a rich guy. I um, mean, then our poor Zigzagoon is going to get murdered in the double battle. Yeah, this is a rich guy too. We love the rich guys. They give us lots of money when we win. Nice, I think we learn Ember here. Yes, God's hand. And then do I have one frame? Yeah, nice. Um, normally you can skip this battle if you don't have uh, two Pokemon in your party. Um, however, considering we need to do extra fights to become a Combuskin and uh, the Zigzagoon is not going to gain EXP because it's going to die, uh, it just makes sense to do this one now. Nice. Never mind, the Zigzagoon is going to gain EXP. Which is pretty slow to be honest. I only got one level, so we're good. Looks like I might be able to knock that out. Who, who knows? Probably should have nicknamed it if I thought it was going to appear in battle, but you know, that's that's fine. Looks like Zone is our HM friend. Gonna help us out with a few of those. Alright, moving on. Fight this guy. I shouldn't have fought this guy, actually. Here's Magic Ups, and they give no EXP. And they probably don't die in one hit either. Which is... Yeah, this was a mistake. This is just time loss. 
Yep, two hits per magic carp and no EXP to show for it. Good job, me. Yeah, I suppose it's not nothing. It's not enough to justify it, but it's not as bad as I thought it would be. I wonder, does Ember do more damage? Yes. further on. We're going to buy some items. We're going to sell some items too. Not that. Selling that. Need two of those. We don't need to buy an escape rope because we get one in the Seven of Hells, Six X of Hanks. Should be good now. And we get an, ex we get an escape rope in the uh, Granite Cave. I should heal. Um, so now we're going to go fight some trainers in the route west of the city. East of the city, sorry. Not west. Um, just so we can get to Combuskin level before we uh, get out of here. <sighs> this guy's good to fight. He has bug types. They're obviously weak to fire. We can kill them quickly. I'm not sure what its actual EXP curve is, but all the starters at this point in the game just feel like stupid easy to level up, um, which is makes the Combuskin route more appealing to me. Even though I know it's not technically faster, still technically faster than the fucking the Sceptile route. That's for damn sure. Find this guy up here. Hopefully, there's enough battles for us to do here. To get uh, enough levels, five more levels. I'm not actually sure. As you can tell, I've done very little preparation of thinking about this run in advance, so. Nerd. Easy dub. Less easy dub. Gonna heal that right away. Nothing from the six again. We want to do all these as single battles, just so that um, Zigzagoon doesn't get any of the XP. Nice.
just going to mash Ember on these Geodudes. It's going to do more damage than Scratch will, so. Geodudes have uh, basically no special defense. Just cut them down. Oh, it's a decent XP too. That's surprising. We should be able to fight the uh, gym trainers after this and just go straight on to Roxanne, which is nice. It's actually weird to me how much EXP the Geodids give. Like, it's quite a bit for the fact that they live a light. Hopefully our repel lasts the rest of the route. I really don't want to have to apply another one. Of course, applying another repel is, in fact, faster than getting an encounter, so... Damn it. Alright, moving on. Just gonna go straight to the gym. Don't need to heal. Believe it or not, same strategy for these Geodudes. We do less damage to them, but you yeah, know. Same strategy. Oh, I might actually need to go and heal the Pokemon Center. I'm running low on Embers. Oh, wait, no, that won't matter. I'm going to level up and then... Uh, probably just scratch that. Yeah, it'll die from the burn. Because um, we're going to use Double Kick to kill everything on the fight. On the gym fight, that is. Easy level up off the next fight. Go this way around. Nice. So close. Uh, I might focus energy at the start of this fight to try and get some easy crits. Otherwise, we're going to run out of embers. And that's not good. Pointless crit, would have preferred that on the next year, dude. Oh, so close. Although, actually that's really good, because it means we have uh, timed the, the amount of EXP that we need perfectly uh, in order to get Combuskin right before Roxanne. So, good job us. There we go, there's our Combuskin. We will learn pick. Don't hit B, don't hit B, don't hit B, don't hit B. Right, everyone take a breather, check your phone or something while uh, 
while it evolves. Gotta get a glass of water or something. Alrighty. We gotta land a double kick. And my sacred of moves. Get rid of scratch. I don't know if it'll come into play into this run, but later Combuskin lands Bulk Up, which is really, really good as a setup move as well. And I'm gonna save in front of Roxanne, because we do not want to lose. That would be quite bad for our money. I wonder if I X attack here. The other good thing about evolving to uh, Combuskin instead of Torchic is that we're no longer weak to rock type moves. Um, because fighting as a secondary type helps us resist uh, rock type moves, which is quite nice. I think I will set up an X attack. Just one. It's fine. That'll lower our speed, but we outspeed everything anyway. They're all rock types. Uh, we're gonna... Nope, not like that. Oh my goodness. The inputs. And that should one hit. Well, two hit to you. Very nice. I don't know if I one hit the nose pass. Maybe if I get a level in the process. Probably won't. Yeah, no. Okay. We'll see. We'll definitely outspeed it at the very least. Hopefully I do one hit because I feel like I died to a crit from Rock Tomb. Oh, we don't outspeed. That's crazy. Yeah, I definitely a two-hit now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, she'll heal next turn. Oh, maybe not. Actually, that's perfect. That'll die from there. Great. Easy rocks in. I'll split on fade to black. Whoa, gold split. friend from Devon. Well, that was too much, but yeah, that's fine. We will repel here. I need to buy more repels before I leave town. Well, shop once more before I leave town as well, because more X attacks would certainly be helpful. Mr. Briny's just in a state over here. Man's ruined and sobbing publicly. It's just, it's a bit embarrassing for him. They got a perch here now. We have double kick. You do the math. That's the other thing about that's nice about Combuskin is that uh, we, <laughs> we just murder all the grunts and we have to fight a few in the in the process of this run. So <laughs> it's really good to just double kick and be like, ah, yes, I win. Thank you. Sweet, we are out of here. Once again, our repel will wear off at an inconvenient point. Got to do this whole shambles.
wonder how much slower this is than the um, regular speed run round. I imagine quite a bit. But like how much? You know, is it twice as slow or is it just like, you know, an extra five minutes or something like that? Because I think the segment's gone pretty well luck wise. Execution <laughs> uh, is lacking, but you know. Luck wise, we've we've had a we've had a good run, I think. So far. Very nice free heal. Very big fan. God, so dramatic to be like... Hey man, I gave you this feature, give me a call. All staged and shit. Whack. Alright, we're gonna shop before we leave town. this uh, go earlier so we can just run straight past my movement so far should indicate what to expect on the uh, marked bike section <laughs> it will not be good I'm especially not looking forward to dodging the spinners on the um, uh, daycare route that will also not be good especially because I'm mostly used to uh, playing ruby and sapphire um, so it's like, ah, oh, how's that going to go for me? But they're, they're placed differently from Emerald and Ruby Sapphire, if you don't know. And I'm, I'm used to the Ruby Sapphire layout of trainers. So when they get to the Emerald part, I'm just like, right, where are they? They're not where I used to. I'm used to them being. Take my headphones off. It's getting toasty in here. Dodge that fisherman. Dodge that fisherman. Repel. Pick up the escape rope. This is what I was talking about earlier, is that the cave is very easy to go through if you just stick to the walls. Not that one, this one. Down here, and then we run across this room. Again, bonk bonk, but mostly sticking to the walls. There it is. We go up here. Go all across. Yep, that one there. That one there, and we're through. Look how easy that is. And we're through in two repels too, which is nice. I believe some people uh, do like a side Steven thing, and there's some sort of disagreement as to whether you talk to Steven from the side or the top or whatever. But like, what? Why, why does it matter? How is it possibly slower or faster to do it one way than the other? Does he have to walk? Is it because he has to walk around you to get out? Is that it? Is that slower somehow? Alright, now we're gonna escape rope out of here. We can leave town. That's letter delivered. Nice and quick. Ooh, nearly hit that spinner there. Whoops. <laughs> Shouldn't do that. Uh, we are going to Slateport. I also don't remember where the people are on the beach. Um, so hopefully I don't hit any, hit any trainers there either. 
because that will you know this is a shorter run so those those additional trainers and a longer run maybe it's not not as big a deal and this they really stack up i'm gonna go this way dodge 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 yeah that works nice all right we run past here oh no we need to go in here talk to doc go to the shipyard yada 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 click double click I don't know whether you had to input a yes or a no text box there. The answer is you don't, so you can just mash B. All the Arkle Grants are at the museum. I always forget that you need you actually need $50 to enter this segment, I think. Uh, so you can't spend all of your money. Otherwise you can't get in. I do think it's interesting that no matter whether you pick, um, well I suppose it's more the case in Ruby and Sapphire, but whether you pick Mudkip or Torchic, you have a super effective hit against Watson's Pokemon. Um, because, well, you don't have a super effective hit against Voltorbs, for example, but um, Double Kick owns the Magneton and the Magnemite. And the Manetric doesn't have uh, a heck of a lot of uh, physical defense anyway. Astonish, that's great. Cool. Easy fight, easy life. wondering what parts could be so vital for a submarine that a child could carry them in a backpack, but you know, I suppose that's none of my business. I'm not going to talk to this guy. If I was short on money, I'd talk to that guy, but I'm not short on him. The Scott person. Be kind of weird if he did follow us everywhere, to be honest. I'm gonna skip the Pokemon Center there. Professor Birch will stalk us or something. Who knows how he got out here? Maybe he has Surf. Probably want to get a few extra levels in order to double kick my way through Rival 2. Um, obviously I'm going to use X attacks, but I truly don't know how easy or hard it's going to be. Because it can just be a nightmarish fight. That's not ideal, I really would have hoped that were killed. <sighs> I was hoping to save some double kick PP. Good XP there. <sighs> you couldn't just do half crit? Damn it. Got an orange berry. Yep. Damn it. Slow. Slow. Now I said I'm procking uh, paralysis.
Mm, did I buy a paralyzer? I did not. Now right, I'm gonna go buy some of those. And I may as well heal one while I'm here. faster in this game to do the PC deposit strap. Now uh, for healing that is. I can't imagine that it's that much faster and it wouldn't matter for a shorter run like this anyway. Oh, get out of here Isabel. I wonder if those calls are random. Like, could you be on, like, a world record pace run and get one of those calls and it just, like, ruins you? Like, you lose a couple of seconds and, and that's it. There goes sub 230 or whatever. 228 or whatever the, the latest benchmark or threshold is. Growl? No. I think it's static here for sure. Oh, no, they don't have static. They have plus and minus. Stop. Why are you gonna be like this? Oh, come on. Damn it. Kamuskin's doing a great job at heading through, I will say. At, at not getting paralyzed. Perpetually. Ah, oh, nice crit. Good job. Up. Where? Come on, man. It was one tile. Because other than getting paralyzed by a plus a lot of mine and whatever he has, uh, it should be free. Or no, he has Aaron Gulp in it. Oh no, he has Electrike, never mind. And Electrike does have static. Hey, no static, good press. No level though, which is unfortunate. Alright, I'm gonna save and try arrival. Wary that I might not actually um, get through. But I have a lot of exit tags, and I can tank at least one mud shot. So, assuming that's the case, I should be alright. Plus, I have poison heals. Uh, antidotes, rather. I think he opens with Slugma. Lombre, ah, that's a different story. Alright, well, let's see how this goes. No, why did I think? Okay, down. What are you using? Astonish, that's absolutely fine. Keep doing that. Two. Three is probably fine. And then I should use... Speed. With. All right, I'll heal next turn. Don't use the status move, don't use the status move. Okay, cool. Okay, excellent. All right. How does that do? Mm, will I one-shot the Marsh Tomp? Probably not. Maybe with that level up. No, we don't want the sand attack. I'll outspeed. How much does this do? 
Ooh, that's so close. Will it? Oh, you're kidding. Damn it. All right. I, I live one. I, I only just live one. Jeez. Please still outspeed. Okay, good. <sighs> okay. Slugma, I'm, <laughs> I'm confident to, <laughs> to double kick. That's, uh, that's no issue. I should have split for rival too, actually. That would have been smarter. Oh well, that's fine. Doesn't fundamentally matter. before we can progress. We're good. We're on our way. This is going well. This is a fun run. It feels very quick compared to other Pokemon speedruns to get like this, uh, you know, third gym within an hour sort of thing. get to the third gym within an hour, I should say. Not beat the third gym. Watson, I, I was talking about how, you know, you have double kick for the Magneton and the Magnemite, but Watson is still by no means an easy fight, in my view. And we get the bike soon, which is sure to lose me time, because of the aforementioned movement. Um, what do I do for you? I'm just gonna kick you. You'll probably still die. You have no physical defense. Yeah. I will need more X items. What is this? Don't need that. Eh, although maybe I won't sell it actually. We're off. We're going first to the Mart. Three more supers. Four X. It's nice that you get uh, pretty good access to X items early in the run in this one as well. Grab Rock Smash. The Rock Smash dude. I forget what this item is, but I'm going to grab it. And it's an X speed. That's helpful. I'm definitely going to need X-Speeds for Watson. We're going to get the bike. Oh man, there's just everything in Mulville City. Right, that was such a real one for, for giving us a bike, honestly. Just free. Free of money. He's just like, yeah man, take it. It's, it's yours. I feel so passionate about uh, you being able to get by in a breeze that I'm just going to give you one. I'm going to murder Wally, Wally's routes, crush his confidence, which he will surely never recover from. I don't know if I'm high enough level yet to uh, fight Watson. But there's not really much else I can do that isn't, like, a waste of time. So, um... Fight Watson it is, I get. Wow, okay, we don't two-shot the rolls. Interesting. One-shot, I guess. I only know confusion. Double team. Don't like that. Probably gotta save the double kick PP there, but that's fine.
Alright, off we go. Okay, so if we go up here, around here, we can fight this guy. God, everything that's weak to fighting in this early game is really weak to fighting. Why do you have a gulpin? Don't poison me. Don't poison me. Don't poison me. Good. Alright, we are on our way. save obviously can't be out here losing to Watson Okay, we can set up on the Voltor because it can't really do anything to us. It can paralyze us and just generally be annoying, but like we can still like fully set up three or four X attacks and a few speeds. Oh, that did more than I thought it would, never mind. I take back what I said about we can set up on the Voltor. Three, it booms, okay. Whoops. Right, well, now that's something we have to watch out for. Can't set up on the Vault Orb. Just kill it. <laughs> set up on the Magmite. It really only uses Sonic Boom. Probably goes down to a double kick. Don't paralyze me first turn. Good. It does not. Interesting, okay. I wonder if that makes it more likely to boom. Yep, okay. Interesting. Will that kill me? It won't. Gr cool, I guess. <laughs> Don't send out the Magneton. The Electric, okay, that's fine. Surely that can't do that much damage to me. What are you, quick attack? Oh yeah, you were just going for the kill shot, I see. Alright, one. That's fine. Two. Hmm, interesting. Three. Four. That's probably fine. Interesting. Don't like that, but interesting. Uh, you outspeed me. Let me go for one. Alright, unless it uses Quick Attack, I'm good. Didn't use Quick Attack, so we're good. Nice, that's very good. It's good damage. The Magneton will go down, no problem. Not sure about the Minitric. Yeah, okay, well... Unless the Minitric, Minitric outspeeds us and paralyzes us, I think we're golden. That would give us sub one hour Watson. Which I think is pretty decent. Ah, pretty oh, come on. Don't proc. Damn it. Okay. Ooh, that's close. Oh, thank god. Okay. Whew. I don't know if that crit was necessary or not, but it was very, very, very close. Alright, sub one hour Watson though. Pretty pretty stoked with that one. Um, do I need to go and get strength? No. No, I do not. Which means I only need to go through route on 111, I think. Uh, once. 
which is good because uh, that terrifies me. All right, I'm gonna go Pokemon Center heal. Man, Zaggy are uh, well on our way. Liking how this is going. This is a fun run. Alright, to teach Rock Smash. Nice and quick. Nice. Do dodge the trainers up here. Yep, how do we go around? Just like so. That's slower than if I did it well, but still faster than fighting them. Oh, the movement. Um, the Xbox 360 gamepad is not good for uh, this type of movement at all. I'm just getting off the bike for this one. Damn it. I held B too long. And then I started running. That's especially annoying because we really don't need XP at this point. There are no major fights left. You know, Watson was our really our uh, only major barrier. <laughs> Has to have two Pokemon as well. Oh, the Meryl's... Yeah, maybe that goes down to a double kick. Okay, it does. Nice. I'm going to repel here because I need to in the tunnel anyway. Oh, I do not have enough repels to get all the way through Meteor and back. Damn it. Should have waited. Okay, you have limited vision, that's good to know. Easy. Back on the bike. I'm just gonna go straight into... Straight into you, because I have... I'd rather fight these trainers as singles, because again, the Zigzagoon will slow everything down. Um, and I think I can dodge one of them, but not two of them. I don't know how the speedrunners for this, this game actually pass these trainers, but I'm willing to bet it's not easy. I'm willing to bet it's killed a lot of runs. Oh, why would you live? Don't do anything annoying. Okay, good. Easy. I'm gonna get off the bike to pass this guy. I know this guy's a huge hazard in Omega Ruby on Alpha Sapphire. Don't call me. Wally, you suck. Please, damn it. What a catastrophic error. I suppose I could have gone under the rocks now that I think about it, but... Eh, whatever.
dodge of the century. Oh, nearly. nearly. I, I needed to have the confidence to go through. But I did not. I lacked the confidence. Bird trainer. Not ideal either. Bird keeper, sorry. Oh my god, why would you have a Skarmory? I suppose I can just kick you, but... I can't just kick you. Wow. Don't use... Eh, agility this one. I don't know what I'm worried about. This thing can't kill me. You get kicked. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Yep. Please just die to a kick. Damn it. High roll, crit. Damn it. Uh, I need to heal. I don't have any revives either, which makes this very challenging. Okay, that's fine. That could have been actually quite bad. Quite a bad trainer to hurt. <laughs> Just gonna steamroll through here. We don't. I'm gonna buy more of uh, repels, assuming they sell them. But beyond that, we just roll them through. Ooh, super repels. And I should save. Steamroll. Nice. Oh, I need to actually use the repels. That's always a good start. I'm sure I can dodge the other one. Yeah, Geodudes are easy. I just believe I'm holding down with all my forces I exit this fight. Good. Damn it. Falls. Ooh, I didn't grab cut, but it would have been actually quite helpful here. Oh wait, no, rock smash, so never mind. Very good, I thought that was a cut tree for some reason. Helps us avoid these two battles down here. 
I'm still good on double kick. Double kick having 30 PP is amazing. How did that not kill? I'm a bulky march up. Good to know Black Belt Knob will slow us down by giving us his phone number, so. Really gotta avoid hitting him in future. That's money. I don't need money at this point. What am I concerned about? We've already fought all of the trainers here, so we don't need to worry about them. Okay. My movement may not be optimal, but it's actually not as bad as I thought it would have been. This here is crazy to me. They're just standing, there's two of them standing here on the other side of these rocks and be like, damn, if there was only some way we could break these rocks. It's like, you could go and fight the gym later down the road. Why do I pick that up? I don't need it. I'm just wasting time out here. No way to avoid this guy just like seeing us, so I'm not gonna detour for it. Now this this is where it's gonna be challenging and I'm I'm gonna get off the bike. <laughs> Cause this I'm gonna do everything in my power to avoid hitting these spinners on this route. Or the next route, I should say. Because there are so many of them. And I would like to avoid all of them. Da -da. And bulk up. I don't think I'll need it. But I'll learn it. Certainly if I was running to the end of the game, I would learn bulk up. That'll die. God, it is warm. I am absolutely stuck to my chair. Here we go. Ugh. That would have been such a bad start. Alright, I'm getting off the bike. It's not going to go well. Alright, this lady can see you. This guy can see you. Oh, he's not a real regular spinner. Turn, please. I beg you. Just do it. Alright, this guy can see you. Alright, I'm clear. Oof. Gosh, that makes me nervous. Oh, that was nearly so clean. Alright, now we go straight up to the hiker. This is where the run gets really exciting, and I just sit here and I take the cable car up and down. Repeatedly. Until we hit that sweet, sweet 1 in 64 chance. I'm sneak past you here, buddy. I'm not going to bother to repel. Probably should have. All right, and I'm once again going to get off the bike to avoid the spinners. Fought that guy. I just walked into him. I'm going to get off the bike to, quote, avoid the spinners. Walks into the spinners. Good job, guy. Very nice. This is the last fight we'll do. Okay, here it is, the moment everyone's been waiting for. The cable car. Alright, this is it. How many times will we need to go up? Or down. You can see them on the way down, and I am counting that for the purposes of seeing the hiker, to be clear. This 
hiker percent is not really a, a good descriptor because it can also be like it's it's like any NPC sprite. There's like the the Boy Scout looking kid, the picnickers. That's who I'm thinking of. Picnicker slash hiker, but hiker percent sounds better to me. So. Don't look away, you might miss the hiker. The cable car people really should be charging me for this if they're going to be doing it. They make a fortune. I really should have kept a counter of how many times I was going up and down for this, but oh well.
No hikers yet. When will the hiker grace us with their beauty? In spite of the hiker drought, we persevere. 1 in 64. You know, you wouldn't think it would take super long. This is still within a reasonable range of time, in my view, but yeah. I'd expect this to be sub 2 hours. Reasonably speaking.
I hope you all appreciate it. This is the peak of comedy, FYI. It's just sitting here and waiting to see the damn hiker on the mountain. Comedic genius. Not my idea, to be clear. Though I will say, I couldn't find anyone else who has done this in a recorded fashion. I'm sure someone's done this before. There's no way anyone, no one has it. But there's no video on YouTube or anything like that, so... Certainly there's no uh, category extension for, for hiker percent on the speedrun.com leaderboards, that's for sure.
Man, time really flies when you're waiting for the hiker to appear, I tell you that much.
Bam, hiker percent, 142. All right. Well, that took a little longer than I thought it would, but that was pretty funny. <laughs> Very exciting to be lulled out of the, the dull of uh, waiting for the hiker to appear, but oh, that was a fun run. I'll probably do this again at some point, uh, maybe after I do an actual Pokemon Emerald run. Anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in. Bye.